Good day to each and everyone, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to uh, the uh, video presentation for the uh, subject uh, traffic management and accident investigation with uh, driving. No? And uh, the uh, topics that will be discussed in this video presentation is about uh, traffic control no? or the uh, methods on how to control uh, traffic or the movement or flow of motor vehicles. No? We have also uh, traffic control devices. Okay, so what are the different traffic control devices that is being utilized to control traffic? Okay, so uh, what are the objectives no, for uh, this uh, video presentation? At the end of uh, the uh, lesson or session, you as the student or listener should be able to Identify the different types of traffic control devices. You should also be able to discuss the principles of traffic control, which includes the various control devices. So if I will let you to uh, recite, no? then uh, discuss, then you should be able to discuss it. No? And uh, you should also be able to apply the knowledge on how traffic is being controlled. You should also be able to identify and categorize traffic signs. So if I will give you a quiz regarding the traffic uh, signs and traffic control devices, you should be able to identify them correctly. Echo, you should be able to classify the different types of traffic signs, whether the traffic sign that I'm presenting is uh, informative sign, no, regulatory sign, or cautionary uh, signs. Okay, Ayan. So what we are waiting for, let us proceed to our discussion. So what is traffic control? Generally, traffic control refers to procedures, devices, and communication system that helps vehicles and vessels safely share same roads, rails, waterways, or air space. So lahat po ng procedure no, at kagamitan or devices at communication system na ginagamit Para sa ganun po ay mamanatili yung kaligtasan ng ating mandalakbay, mapa naglalakbay sa tubig yan, naglalakbay sa riles, no, sa tubig, o kaya naman ay sa himpapawit, ay maging safe po siya ang uh, ginagamit po mga procedure, devices, and communication systems ay kasama po sa tinatawag nating traffic control. Okay, so how will you control the movement? for the safety of the travelers yung po ang traffic control no pag control po doon po sa galaw ng manlalakbay sa pamamagitan ng paglalatag ng proseso okay uh, o kaya yung pong mga devices na ginagamit no para ma-guide yung pong mga manlalakbay for the safe travel okay so yung po yung tinatawag natin na uh, traffic control okay so the traffic control in road Ladies and gentlemen, is under ng Land Transportation na uh, Office no, of the Philippines. Tsaka ganun din sa Riles. Waterways is under the control of Marine Industry Authority or Marina. And we have airspace is under the control of uh, MEIA or Manila International Airport Authority. So all the systems and procedures and devices to include the communication system that they are using for the safe travel of travelers, no? or for the safety of travelers are called as traffic control. So uh, what is traffic control as applied to land transportation office? So as applied to land transportation office, na kung saan ang kanilang saklaw po ay yung pong paglalakbay sa mga kalupaan ng Pilipinas, no? o oh, transportation that is used in land, kaya nga land transportation. So ano ang traffic control? No? As uh, applied to the land transportation. So uh, traffic control as applied to land transportation refers to a system, to a system no, of the traffic engineering employing prescribed traffic rules and regulation and devices such as signals or yung pong mga traffic lights, traffic signs, no, and markings. Those are pavement markings to the markers to relieve vehicular congestion and air pollution and to promote safety of pedestrians and mobility. So, hindi lang po yung safety ang sinasaalang-alang dito kung bakit naglalagay po ng traffic uh, signs, signals, markings, no? 
Para sa ganon ay uh, maganda po yung pong uh, or efficient yung pong paglalakbay ng pong ating mga manlalakbay, no? So uh, it is also used to ease the uh, congestion or vehicular congestion, okay? And of course usually in heavy populated urban areas. In smaller towns, traffic uh, light, no, or with light traffic Uh, traffic lights are not usually used no kasi light naman yung traffic uh, similar uh, control is being used however uh, syempre mas simple lang yung mga traffic control devices and engineering techniques na ginagamit kumpara doon po sa highly urbanized cities okay so yun po mga kapatid anong ginagamit control traffic in land transportation you have traffic signals no pavement markings and markers and of course there is also a procedure that is being followed when uh, traveling okay yan so what is control techniques that is being applied no? and what is control technique control technique the primary emphasis of control or traffic control is the safe and efficient flow of cars mga sasakyan no ayan so suv no or service utility vehicles, yan, Asian utility vehicle or AUVs, buses, vans, trucks, no, can vary from simple improvement of local streets by installing traffic signs and road markings, constructing comprehensive motorway control uh, system. Basta ang purpose ng mga techniques na ini-emphasize or uh, binibigyan din ay uh, ginagawa itong pong, uh, traffic control techniques na ito for safe and efficient flow of motor vehicles. Okay, tulad ng cars, buses, vans, and etc. Okay? And uh, the different control techniques that is being applied is uh, we have number one, access road meters to monitor and control the motorway. Okay? So may mga specific access roads na ginagamit. We have closed circuit television surveillance to the use of uh, installation of uh, CCTVs no? to detect quickly uh, the uh, any deterioration in traffic flow so that they will uh, respond if there are uh, deterioration of traffic uh, flow. Okay, so para man monitor nila at para mas mabilis yung pong mga responses. And we have also emergency services in case of accident and injuries. So other traffic control technique includes the use of one-way street. Okay, in business salubungan ay ginagawang one-way po yan. No? Uh, we have also enforcement of traffic flow or traffic flow regulation by uh, uh, assigning some of the traffic enforcers. No? Channelization or yung pong paggamit ng traffic islands tulad po ng bilog, no? tulad po ng Rotary Island, yung pong bilog. We have also uh, divisional island. You have also channelizing island. Yung pong, uh, triangle. No? Channeling islands. You have uh, circular island. And you have divisional island. Yung pong mga nasa gitna ng kalsada. No? We have also turning lanes and so on. And number four is the use of traffic signals or traffic lights, ladies and gentlemen. Okay? So those are some of the techniques that can be used to control traffic. Okay? So uh, we have highway traffic control. Ano ba ang highway traffic control? No? Motorists depend on traffic control devices to avoid collision and uh, travel safety to their destination. So they uh, rely on traffic control devices. Okay, the traffic control devices, lahat ng device na makikita sa kalsada, no? Ang tawag natin po ay traffic control devices. And the traffic control devices have different types. Okay? So traffic control devices and highway travel include traffic signs, no? signal lights, so traffic lights. We have pavement markings and markers and a variety of devices placed on, on the road itself. No? Tulad ng reflector is markings, tulad po ng mga pavement markings it is placed on the road. Place over, no? tulad po ng traffic signs near, no? sa tabi, or under the roadway. Okay? Then, what is traffic signs? Traffic signs is the most extensively used form of traffic control devices. Ito yung pinaka ginagamit. Kasi may mga 
probinsya na may mga traffic signs pero walang traffic light. No? Doon yung makikita na talagang mas marami pong traffic signs kumpara doon po sa mga traffic lights, pavement markings, and so on. More than 55 million traffic signs uh, line in the nation's road sites. They provide information about the speed limits and road condition. They direct the uh, traffic along with certain routes to specific destination. By using the signs, traffic control planners tell the drivers what to do and what to watch for sa pamamagitan ng uh, uh, yung pong sinasabi nating cautionary signs or danger signs. No? It gives information to the drivers what to watch for okay? and where to drive. Okay, where to drive because uh, one of the traffic sign also that is being used, eh, mo tinatawag po nating informative sign which give information to the uh, travelers. Okay, so we have here uh, the uh, parking area. Yan po, no? Yan po yung informative sign because it gives information. Okay, you have also the tour. No? You have also yield sign. And so that is a regulatory sign. Uh, pedestrian crossing. You have also stop. Regulatory sign then, no? And uh, the like. So uh, the uh, traffic signs or the specific type of traffic signs will be discussed uh, uh, later on, okay? One by one. So ito lang po yung mga examples of traffic signs so that you will have an idea on what are the different traffic signs, okay? Yan. So we have pavement marking. So ano nga ba ang pavement markings na tinatawag natin? So pavement markings, lahat po nang nakamarka doon po sa pavement ng kalsada. Kaya nga tinawag pong pavement markings. Yung pong pintura doon po sa uh, mismong uh, roadway no? or sa gilid, ang tawag natin is pavement markings. Example, no? yung pong curb lines ay yung pong mga pintura na nasa gilid po ng kalsada. No? Yan din yung pong mga... Uh, white dotted lines na nagsasabi pwedeng mag-overtake. No? Then din yung solid line, sinasabi na hindi pwedeng mag-overtake. Okay? So pavement markings separate opposing streams of traffic and direct tra vehicles into proper position on the roadway. For example, pavement markings delineate turns, lanes at intersection and establish no passing zone. White and yellow paint is Usually or customarily used. Matandaan niyo po yung kulay na ginagamit. Pwedeng puti, pwedeng dilaw po yan. At yan po yung worldwide, hindi lang po dito sa Pilipinas. Okay, so the use of white and yellow paint is customarily used for pavement markings. Reflective devices are also available at night and are used in some location to mark lanes and other significant places on the road. Okay, so yan po yung tinatawag niyo... Uh, Reflectorized markings or reflective devices. Traffic signs and road markings follow a uniform practice throughout the world and are designed to convey information with the minimum words. Okay? Yan. So, konti lang yung words na nakasulat pero naiintindihan po dapat ng mga drivers kung ano ang nakalagay doon. No? So, uniform pictorial signs and markings have been adapted throughout Europe in United States, they include uniform sign formats and sizes to include uniform code regulating traffic flow. So kung pupunta ka man ng US, no? US, uh, Canada, Japan, ay yung pong mga traffic signs ay pare-parehas po yan. No? Yan. Oh, sa pavement markings, we have... Uh, these examples, we have a broken yellow line or a broken white line. Yan. Whether white or yellow, ibig sabihin niyan ay pwedeng mag-overtake if it is clear. Pag a solid line po yan, either white or yellow, hindi rin pwedeng mag-overtake. Parehas yan. Okay? So a single uh, yellow or uh, white line also divides the flow of traffic. No? Papunta roon at paparito. You have dotted lines, pwedeng mag-overtake, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so double solid, both no, ay hindi pwedeng mag-overtake. Paano kapag ka magkatabi yung dotted line at saka yung home solid line? Pag ikaw po yung mas malapit sa dotted line, ikaw yung pwedeng mag-overtake if it is clear. Pag ikaw naman ay mas malapit doon po sa solid line, hindi ka pwedeng mag-overtake. 
Okay? Then we have also the junction box. Okay? Junction box. Makikita po sa junction yan. Okay? So, uh, ang ibig sabihin po ng junction box, ladies and gentlemen, meron pong stop sign na nakalagay dyan. Ano? Kapag ka po nag-green na yung ilaw at uh, yung pong galing sa kanan, for example, nag-green na yung kanila, pero nakita niya doon po sa pupuntahan niya, ay wala pa po siyang space doon, hindi siya pwedeng pumagit na dito because it could uh, uh, it could cause traffic uh, jam no yan which so uh, will also cause traffic congestion so ganun po yung nangyayari so yun po yung junction box wag kang magpark doon po sa junction box okay kasi yung ibang galing sa ibang uh, route ay dadaan doon sa mismong junction box so do not park Ayan, ah. so, and we have also rumble strips markings. Okay? Uh, ito po yung pag dinaanan mo ay talagang nagigising ang kalamdan mo kung ikaw yung motorista, ikaw yung driver o pasahero. No? Because the purpose of this is to warn you that you are now approaching a danger or uh, accident prone area. Okay? So yun po yung meaning ng rumble strips markings. Okay, so pintura po ito doon sa pavement pero mas mataas po siya around 1/4 to 1/2 of an inch. Okay? Yan. Then uh, another traffic control devices is traffic signal or also known as traffic light, no? Traffic signals are installed to permit safe movement of vehiculars or vehicles and pedestrian at the busy intersections. So kadalasan pong ginagamit ang traffic signal saan po? sa mga central business uh, districts or areas no or sa mga matataong lugar the signal light is probably the most uh, easily recognized traffic control device at a busy intersection in large city a traffic signal may control the movement of more than 100,000 vehicles per day so yun po yung nagko-control ng traffic lights loob ng isang araw na no? 100,000 no yung mano-mano yan na may mahirap po yan more than 60% of all the miles driven each year are on roadways controlled by traffic signals. Traffic signals direct streams of vehicles and pedestrians when to go, to stop, or proceed with caution. The signal increase the traffic handling capacity of most intersections. They can work independently on timers, naka time po, no? or naka program, or it is connected to a computer control system that operates over several intersection. Okay? Now, the arrangement of traffic light from top to bottom, when it comes to color, we have a red, amber, and green. Okay? So that is the arrangement of traffic light from top to bottom, and it's very basic for you to know the meaning of this. No? The color is red, amber, or that is uh, uh, not orange, no? amber or yellow, po yan, and green po yung go. So what is the meaning of red is top. Okay, you need to stop. Pag kandumiretso ka dyan, then pwede yung mag-cos ng aksidente yun. Ikaw ang may kasalanan. Pag ka nagdiretso ka, kahit wala namang sakyan, na huliin ka ng reckless driving. Okay, beating the red light is tantamount to reckless driving. Then you have uh, yellow or amber means you wait okay, for your turn to go. Diba? So you wait. Okay, so paano pag ka na, dumilaw na? No? Green kanina, dumilaw na. Anong gagawin mo? So you need to wait, do not beat the yellow light because your violation will be reckless driving tantamount to uh, beating the red light. Yan. Then green, the meaning of that is go. So that is the arrangement of traffic light from top to bottom. Okay, nasa tuktok yung red kasi alam nyo naman na yung pong red ay uh, yung may pinakamalakas na spectrum. No? The strongest light with the strongest spectrum. Okay? At kahit malayo ay kitang-kita po siya. Ngayon po yung on top and it uh, also uh, symbolizes danger. So do not enter if it is red kasi dangerous. Eh, pag pinasok mo yung red, delikado yan. Aksidente, abot mo dyan. Okay? Then we have a priority control in one of the oldest methods of traffic control. One form of transportation is given uh, priority by restricting or banning forms of transportation. Example, dito po sa Baguio City, so, ay meron po tinatawag na truck ban. 
May specific oras na kung saan ang mga truck ay hindi po pwedeng makapasok dito sa Central Business District ganun din po sa Metro Manila. That is priority control. No? In the first century BC, Roman Emperor Julius Caesar banned wheel or banned wheel traffic from Rome during daytime, which allowed pedestrians, horse riders, and move freely around the cities. Some modern cities ban and restrict truck travel. Tulad nga dito, yung binanggit ko sa Metro Manila, ganun din, meron din yung truck ban kasi mahaba yung mayroon and it caused traffic congestion. No? So, uh, Bus lanes high uh, occupancy vehicles. Lanes exist in many urban areas. Only specified types of vehicle can pass. No, primarily those carrying several occupants can uh, use these lanes by giving priority to high occupancy vehicles. Na kung saan yung po ay inilunsan doon sa Metro Manila bago po, po nagka-COVID, COVID, no? Uh, meron pong mga linya na naka-specific para sa mga high occupancy vehicles, yung mga bus. No? By giving priority to high occupancy vehicles, transportation planners encourage uh, carpooling and reduce congestion. Bago pumasok sa syudad, iwan na yung sasakyan doon uh, at pagkatapos kay Dada na, uh, sasakay na lang doon po sa mga uh, high occupancy vehicles or HUV. Okay, so... Uh, may specific na lane para sa kanila. So parang nasa litrato po, kung nakikita nyo, meron po yung para sa uh, mga sasakyan. No? Yan. So SUVs, no? o kaya naman ay uh, may linya para sa mga high, uh, uh, high occupancy vehicles, yung pong mga uh, pang-transport tulad ng bus. Okay? So meron silang priority. Okay, so that is priority control. Sino ba yung mas uunahin na prioridad? Yung bang mga sasakyan na may iisang sakay o yung may mga sasakyan na ang daming sakay? So yun po yung priority control. Sino bang priority? Sila lang pwedeng makapasok. Okay, kung sa araw, yung mga service, yung pong priority dahil may pupuntaan ng mga tao, no, then pwede po yung mga private vehicles. Pagka sa gabi na, pwede nang pumasok yung mga truck. Di ba? Yan. So, priority control. Then we have restraint as an alternative to banning traffic. Imbis na ibaban mo naman, no? the traffic control panels use devices to discourage heavy use of a rope. Okay? So, island built in the centers of intersection forces drives to proceed. Sorry for that. No? Drives or drivers to proceed slowly. Speed bumps discourage high-speed commuting uh, through residential neighborhoods. Concrete median strips prevent vehicles from making turns except at intersection. Now, may mga instruments na ginagamit ang DPWH for restraints. Tulad nung tinatawag ninyo na uh, speed bumps. Okay, yung pong uh, mga uh, ano yung sa salita natin yan, yung humps, uh, speed bumps ang tawag. No? And uh, sa ibang area ay gumagamit din ng concrete uh, medians. Ayan po, kung uh, nakikita nyo, nasa gitna. Okay? So those are concrete uh, uh, medians. Okay? Ayan po mga kapatid, yung pong mga uh, equipments or instruments that can be used to restrain yung overtaking and so on and so forth, which could uh, lead to uh, uh, accident or uh, which could... Uh, uh, lead to uh, the uh, uh, the uh, loss of life and limbs of the travelers. Okay, and so restraints. So uh, let us proceed now and discuss what is traffic signs. Okay, so ano nga ba yung traffic signs? Kasi ang nalaman lang natin kanina ang traffic sign ay ginagamit to. Uh, uh, control the traffic, it is uh, a part of traffic control devices. Okay? So what is traffic signs? No? Traffic signs refers to a device. Okay? Ito po ay isang uh, device no? na naka-attach sa stationary or portable support, yung poste, siyempre, which uh, or whereby uh, a message is conveyed. Ibig sabihin yung mensahe ay pinapaalam no? sa mga travelers or sa mga manlalakbay sa pamamagitan ng words o kaya symbol no 
So these traffic signs are officially installed for purposes or for purpose of regulating, warning or guiding the traffic or guiding the uh, when you say unit of traffic. Tumutukoy po iso ito doon po sa mga manlalakbay, no? Either uh, yam po ay uh, gamit niya is motor vehicle, motorcycle, uh, cyclist, yeah. So traffic signs are installed to serve the following instruction or the following functions. The functions of traffic uh, signs includes to control the traffic, okay? Because uh, uh, the traffic sign can control traffic, considering that uh, there are regulatory signs which regulates the flow of traffic. Okay, it tells you where can you park, where can you not park. Yeah, so it controls the movement of traffic. No, so it also tells you whether you will yield or not. Okay. Oh, the uh, traffic signs is used to safeguard the flow of traffic, meaning to avoid abs uh, accident and to maintain safety of the travelers, to expedite the traffic, okay, para pabilisin yung kung paglalakbay, then to guide traffic and motorists. Okay, ito po yung function ng kung informative uh, signs. Okay? So, uh, Nakakita na ba kayo ng traffic signs? No? Siyempre naman, no? dahil palagi kayong uh, dumadaan sa mga kalsada, may nakakita na kayo ng iba't ibang klase ng traffic signs tulad ng nakikita nyo ngayon dito sa Larawan. Okay, so yan po yung mga traffic signs. No? So uh, you have different shapes, different colors, meaning they have also different meaning. Diba? So, dito, 50, sabi dyan, meaning the maximum speed should only be 50. Yan naman pangalawang pula dyan, no? Ang ibig sabihin niyan is no entry. Yan naman baliktad na triangle, nakaisa-isang baliktad na triangle. Ang ibig sabihin niyan ay yield sign niya. No, yield, ibig sabihin, pabigyan mo yung nakasalubong mo. Ayan. Then, uh, marami pang iba. Okay. Uh, yeah. And we will discuss this one by one. At least you have already an idea about traffic sign. No? It is mounted on a, uh, a uh, or installed no? or mounted on a portable support. Okay, yan, yung portable support niya at uh, nakalagay naman yung sign sa tuktok no? na kung saan makikita yan ng mga drivers. Okay, na-install yan. No? Uh, at eye level of the drivers. Okay, so take note, the traffic signs uh, are installed wherein uh, it can be uh, uh, seen or it could be uh, visible to the eyes of the drivers. Okay, hindi po pag naglalakad ka, kundi ito po ay visible dapat uh, doon po sa eyes ng mga nagmamaneho. Okay, so that is traffic signs, ladies and gentlemen. So any device attached to a stationary or portable support whereby uh, the message is conveyed that is called traffic signs. Hindi po siya pavement markings. Kasi yung pavement markings, matatagpuan po yan doon po sa mismo pavement ng kalsada. Okay? Hindi rin po ito traffic island. Hindi kasi ang traffic island, simento po yun, no? Kadalasan po simento ang island. No? Yan. So ito po yung mga traffic signs, ladies and gentlemen. So what are the different types of traffic signs? Okay, so there are three general categories of traffic signs. We have uh, regulatory signs, okay, from the word regulate. We have warning signs from the word warn, no? It's also known as cautionary signs. Then we have informative or guide signs, uh, signs which give information. So let us discuss this one by one now. So regulatory sign impose legal constraints. Ibig sabihin, meron siyang ipinagbabawal, no? Applicable at a specific locality enforceable without the presence of such sign. These devices are usually round in shape. Tandaan po ang shape mga kapatid. The regulatory sign, uh, signs are round in shape with the exception of stop. Kasi ang stop po is octagon. No? Then we have also yield sign that is inverted triangle sign. So that is the only Inverted triangle, yung yield o yung kung magpabigay ka. Yun po yung kaisa-isang baliktad na triangle pag in-install. Okay? 
So regulatory sign is divided into two. You have mandatory sign, meaning to say, uh, when we say mandatory, yung sign po ay binibigyan ka ng utos na gawin ang isang bagay. O, mandatory. The sign is mandating you to do. Okay? So when we say prohibitive or restrictive, the sign prohibits you from doing an act. Okay, from for example po yung prohibitory sign, pinakamarami po no parking. Basta mayroon pong sign na may nakahambalang sa gitnang ganyan na pula, ang ibig sabihin no, no parking, no blowing of horns, na pinagbabawal. Okay, yung pong isang gawain, no overtaking, ayan, that is considered as prohibitive. It is a sign which prohibit something. Okay? Prohibit the act of a driver. That is uh, prohibitory. Yung inuutosan ka naman nung sign that is mandatory. Okay? So, pagka na-violate ang mga regulatory sign, there is a corresponding penalty. No? And the functions of regulatory signs are as follows. So, notify road users about certain laws and regulation in a certain area. Hindi pinagbabawal po yung parking dyan. Then, that is a rules and regulation. Okay? It only... Uh, uh, informs the driver about it. To notify road users of their special responsibility and guidelines. And third, violation of functions 1 and 2 constitute a misdemeanor, meaning there is a corresponding penalty. Pagka na-violate mo yun. It inform you na no parking, and park ka pa rin, may corresponding penalty. So regulatory sign is a traffic sign wherein uh, if violated, there is a corresponding penalty. We have warning signs, also known as cautionary signs, no? or uh, tinatawag din po itong danger signs. Okay, danger sign because it warns the driver of a hazard or danger ahead him. Warning signs have equilateral triangular shape. So ang kanyang uh, shape po, equilateral triangle, tandaan ninyo. So kung nakakita ka ng equilateral triangle, na kung saan yung poste niya ay mismo nasa gitna. No? Yung pong triangle na yon eh yung po ay warning sign. Meaning, ikaw po ay binibigyan ng babala yung sign na yun. Ah, nasa sayo kung susundin mo ito. Okay? Walang penalty po. Ah, pagka sinabi doon na falling rocks ahead, eh, eh nilagay mo yung sasakyan mo doon ng bagal-bagal mo masyado, eh bahala ka. Pero basta sinabi ng sign na dapat ay... Uh, or na mayroong panganib doon, may nakaampang panganib, yun po ang warning sign. Kaya nga warning eh. It gives you warning. Okay? Yan. It uh, uh, give uh, a signal or uh, it uh, conveys no? the driver or travelers that there is a danger. Kaya tinawag siyang warning signs or danger signs. Okay? One side is horizontal and with red borders. Okay, red po ang borders niya dahil ang red ay nagpapakita ng danger. Kaya red po ang borders. Okay? Then functions of warning sign to warn the traffic of impending or unsafe condition. Binibigyan ka ng babala na kung saan ay uh, meron pong panganib. So, ano pa? To seek attention on the part of motorists of imminent risk. Ayan. So para mabigyan mo ng attention na meron pong panganib. No? Then, uh, to demand for decrease of vehicle speed. Okay, so kung tatanungin po, no, kasi may ma mas marami pong sign na nag-de-demand uh, na i-decrease po yung speed tulad nung pag palikuli ko yung kalsada, no, pagka pababa at pabulusok yung kalsada, steep road descent, o kaya paakyat na talagang uh, uh, matarik yung daan, steep road de uh, ascent. Okay, ibig sabihin, shift ka sa lower gear. Then, uh, susunod is informative signs. From the word informative, you know, it gives information. Informative signs is also known as guide signs because it uh, provides guides. You know? It is also known as directional signs. These are rectangular in shape and the color is white and the background is blue. Okay, so uh, sa mga travelers natin, ang mga informative signs na nagbibigay po ng informasyon ay uh, background niya is blue with uh, white markings. No? 
Green background, on the other hand, is route markers and as well as destination signs. Kung saan po yung ruta ninyo, saan kayo patutungo, saan yung lugar na pupuntahan ninyo. Okay? So functions of informative signs to assist the motorists along roads, okay, para hindi ka pumawala, to inform the drivers of correct roads, para i-inform ka kung saan yung totoong daan o yung tamang daanan. And third is to help drivers along their way uh, to the most simple and shortest method. Okay? So yun po yung gamit, no? So kumbaga nung hindi pa uso ang uh, ways, no? Hindi pa uso yung uh, uh, yung pong uh, ginagamit ninyo na Google Map, no? So uh, ang uh, nagiging uh, guide ng mga travelers ay ito pong informative uh, signs. Okay? Yan. So type types of guide signs include road markers. Okay, pinapakita kung saan yung tamang ruta. Destination and distance signs. And we have informative signs or those signs which give information. So examples of regulatory signs, ladies and gentlemen. These are just some examples of regulatory signs. Lahat po ng mga may mga nakahambalan na red. No? Ito po, no? tulad ng uh, no parking yan. Ang ibig sabihin po kasi nung pula na naka balang na ganyan is no no so those are considered as prohibitory signs okay samantalang yung iba ay uh, tinatawag natin na uh, mandatory signs ibig sabihin binibigyan ka ng mandato para sundin tulad ng stop sign yield sign no turn left turn right pass either uh, keep left keep right those are what we call as uh, uh, mandatory because it mandates you to do something. Samantala, ang prohibitory so, uh, sign natin, you have no parking, lahat ng may no. That is a uh, prohibitory sign because it prohibits you from doing something. Kapag ka na-violate mo yan, mamaya tinitikitan ka na. Diba? So, no parking, no entry of uh, all types for vehicles, no entry. Yan. So, no left turn, no right turn, no U-turn, no, no overtaking. Uh, we have uh, pedestrian is prohibited. No? Oh, it prohibits something, no? So no blowing of forms, uh, tricycle is prohibited, animal is prohibited. We have uh, width limit is uh, 2.2 meters only. Ang pwedeng makapasok more than that. Hindi ka po pwedeng, maka, uh, hindi ka pwedeng dumaan doon. Sa so, pinagbabawal yung pong pagdaan ng mga sasakyan na ang limit or yung width niya is more than 2.2. Dito naman sa length limit, ibig sabihin niyan, Eh, hindi po pwedeng dumaan yung sasakyan na ang kanyang uh, sukat sa, ng haba ay 12 meters. No? So you have also height limit. Ang ibig sabihin po niya na hindi po pwedeng dumaan yung sasakyan na ang sukat is more than 3 meters and 50 or 3.50 meters. No? 3 meters at kalahate. Okay? Maximum is speed. Ibig sabihin hindi ka pwedeng... Uh, lumagpas sa 100 km per hour. Ibig sabihin niyan, 100. That is your maximum. More than that, you cannot do it. Oh, no smoking. You have also uh, cell phone is prohibited. Prohibitory sign cycle is prohibited. Push cards prohibited. Uh, no car is allowed. That is prohibitory also. Load 5 tons lang ang pwedeng maka, uh, makadadaan dyan. More than that, you are prohibited. Okay? And uh, you have towing as uh, prohibited or towing is prohibited. No, you have no food uh, and drinks. Okay, or drinks and food is prohibited. So those are types of regulatory signs. Examples lang at marami pang iba na regulatory signs, ladies and gentlemen. No, so those are just some of the examples. I have already uh, let you to uh, log in to the uh, LTO. Uh, uh, practice test okay doon po sa website ng uh, uh, LTO at napakarami pong signs na inyong makikita doon and it will also serve as your reviewer because I will be giving quizzes no regarding uh, that yung pong LTO exam reviewer okay so kindly download it because there are a lot of regulatory signs that you will encounter therein okay 
We have also warning signs, no? Warning, meaning to say it gives warning. Sabi ko kanina, warning signs are also known as uh, as cautionary sign because it gives caution to the driver all danger sign, no? Ah uh, dahil ikaw po ay uh, binibigyan ng babala tungkol sa isang danger or pangalim. Okay? So examples po mga kapatid in danger signs, you have a uh, Uh, traffic lights ahead, ibig sabihin pag malapit na traffic light, di ka na pwedeng mag-overtake niyan. You have also a slippery road, ibig sabihin ay magdahan-dahan ka lang. No? Kaya nga yung kanyang border is red, nang ibig sabihin kasi ng red is danger. No? Red means danger. So ang border ng uh, ating warning sign is uh, uh, red borders, which uh, signifies uh, uh, danger. Okay? So you have also uh, roundabout, no? You have uh, Y intersection, two-way traffic, left bend, right bend the curve, no? So nasa sayo kung sundin mo yan. Okay, yung pong warning signs, basta binibigyan ka ng babala. Sabi diyan pakaliwa, ikaw diniretso mo bahala ka basta binigyan ka ng babala na left bend, or right bend curve of head. You have also narrow road, maliit na yung kalsada, mas masikip, no? So magtandaan. Road right, no? you have road left, uh, steep road descent, ibig sabihin pababa po yan, steep road ascent pa, akyat, uh, shift to low gear ang ibig sabihin yan, line merge ahead, yan. so uh, may uh, uh, linya po na uh, may, uh, dadagdag, no? yan. so mag-converge uh, yung uh, dalawang uh, uh, way. No? Then you have surf, uh, soft uh, verges, You have a uh, river bank. No? Baka mamaya ay tumalon ka na sa pangin. Tumalon. Okay, you have also a school crossing. You have falling rocks. Okay, falling rocks. Yan. Falling rocks ahead. Ganon. So, uh, you should be uh, vigilant. No? Road work ahead. You have uh, cy cycle crossing. Animal crossing. Uh, bridge road uh, sign. Hump ahead. Okay, so tandaan ka lang, no? Crossroad, dahan-dahan lang din. And you have also the uh, uh, railroad. Ayan, kung mataas yung sasakyan mo at nakalagay po dito yung 4.5 meters, okay? At nakalagay sa ganitong shape, then ibig sabihin, yan po ay binibigyan ka ng babala para hindi mo idiridiretso yung sasakyan mo. Baka matanggal po yung bubong. Diba? I've also intersecting sign, T-junctions, to bus stop, crossing ahead, and left. Pin. Okay, so those are some, no? hindi po lahat no? na warning signs ay ating na-discuss. Marami pa pong iba. Okay? So those are only uh, examples of warning signs. Then we have also here examples of informative uh, or guide signs. Those signs which give information, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so you have... Uh, informative signs or uh, signs which give information you have a telephone booth no and you have a parking no hospital fuel pump no bus stop uh, jeepney stop and so on and so forth okay those will give you information so ano ang kulay non white markings on blue background you have also uh, those uh, place identification signs no tulad po nung uh, ating nasa Larawan Uh, to Expressway, to Makati, Alabang, ayan. Uh, we have uh, the direction signs, which is uh, advanced direction signs, okay? So, which gives you uh, information uh, about the place where you will travel. Okay, ito yung daan papunta ng Lipa, papunta ng Bataan, and so on. We have intersection direction signs, okay? To Manila, to Batangas, uh, to uh, Cabanatuan City, no? Uh, to uh, Baguio City and so on. We have also reassurance, direct signs. No? Uh, we have the uh, approximate distance of particular uh, exit. Okay, so that is reassurance, direct uh, direction signs. Okay, so those are informative or guide signs because those uh, signs will give you information. Okay, so ano nga... Uh, Uh, napansin nyo, ano, yung pong mga nagbibigay ng informasyon tungkol sa kainan, bus stop, parking lot, mga uh, kulay niyan ay uh, white on blue background. 
Samantala, yung tungkol sa lugar na impormasyon, ang nakalagay naman ay white or green background. Okay? Yan. Then, we have also additional uh, information. We have also the so-called kilometer markers. Ito po ay napaka-importante, lalong-lalo na yung pong ating mga travelers. May mayroon kayong makikita na mga maliliit na poste sa kalsada bawat kilometro. No? Ang tawag po natin doon ay kilometer markers. Okay? So, to understand what is kilometer markers, ladies and gentlemen, then you should... Uh, No, ay yung pong tinatawag nating kilometer zero. Okay? Ayan, so sa Luneta Park, okay, sa Metro Manila, that is our kilometer zero. So this is very important no, for you to know, especially when you are traveling okay, out from your town because this could give you information about the distance of the next town, saan yung malapit na kaya na town, ilang kilometro pa. Kasya pa kaya ang iyong gasolina, lalo na pagka ikaw po ay nalobat o nalobat yung cellphone mo. Pwede mong magamit yung pong kilometer markers. Okay? Because this can be uh, checked every kilometers. Yan. So, from the uh, kilometer zero, yun po ang base, ano yun? base ng sukatan. No? So, uh, paano po basahin po yung kilometer markers? Okay? So yung uh, kilometro po dito na nakasaad dito ay yung po yung distance ninyo mula sa kilometer zero. Ibig sabihin, habang dumadami yung pong numero dyan, okay, dumadami yung uh, bilang ng kilometer, lumalayo ka mula Metro Manila. So yun po ang ibig sabihin nun. So kung nasa kilometer 1 ka, ibig sabihin malapit pa doon po sa Luneta Park in Metro Manila. Okay? Abang lumalayo ka, nadadagdagan po yung number. Okay? Then yung susunod po dyan na letters ay yung pong initial ng next town or city. Like for example po ay letter C ang nakalagay dyan. Ibig sabihin ay kabanatuan. Okay? Kabanatuan. Then yung distance niya, makikita nyo naman dito sa ilalim. Okay? So for example, ano? 10. 10 kilometers. So meaning to say, you are 10 kilometers Okay? Then makakarating ka na sa Kabanatuan. So yun po ang ibig sabihin niyan. Okay? So uh, ilang kilometro naman mula sa Metro Manila? Sabihin na natin na uh, 670. Yan. So 670 kilometers ka na mula Metro Manila. Okay? At uh, ikaw ay uh, 10 kilometers pa ang lalakbayin mo para ikaw ay makaabot sa kabanatuan. So yun po ang ibig sabihin niya. Yun po ang pagbasa niya. Okay? So yung una po na numero ay uh, ipinapakita kung gaano ka kalayo mula Metro Manila sa Luneta Park. Yung uh, letters po sa ilalim ng unang numero ay yung po yung initial nung pong uh, susunod na town, susunod na bayan o susunod na syudad. Okay, hindi siyempre kung may susunod na siyudad, ibig sabihin baka marami ng mga gasoline station diyan, no? Then yung distance mo mula doon sa susunod na siyudad or munisipyo or bayan ay yung pong numero, yung last number doon po sa kilometer post. Okay? So maliliit lang po ito yung pong mga uh, kilometer markers no around the uh, hanggang bewang lang po 'yan. Yung tangkad and kulay dilaw, kulay black yung pong mga markings. Okay? Then we have also Asian Highway Markers. Yan, Asian Highway or Asian Highway Markers or Asian Highway, sabi ng iba. Yan. So ano ba yung Asian Highway Markers? So meron tayong madalas na makita po na ganito mga marka. Yan, pwedeng 1, 2. No? 2 po, pagka Maharlika Highway, dyan sa Kabanatuan, patungong Tugigaraw, 2 po yan. No? Yan. So uh, when we say one, this is the primary national road of uh, our country. When we say two, yung ganito, that is a secondary prime, uh, secondary national road. So kung one ang nakita nyo, ibig sabihin, yan po yung primary road natin for the development of our country. So AH, ito pong nasa ilalim, AH stands for Asian Highway, a network of highway roads of international importance within Asia. It covers 141 kilometers of roads across 32 countries. 
Okay, so Asian Highway Network is part of the ASEAN Land Transit Land uh, Transportation Infrastructure Development Project of the United Nations Economic and Social Commission for Asia and uh, the Pacific or the UNESCO. Okay, so this is under the uh, uh, United Nations Economic and Development Council. No? So AH26 is the route number given to 3,517 kilometer Philippine segment Asian Highway Network. The main road on AH26 is the Pan Philippine Highway or the Maharlika Highway. So ito po yung ating primary road. Okay, so yung Maharlika Highway from uh, stretching from uh, Lawag uh, City, Ilocos Norte to Zamboanga City. Okay? So yun po yung uh, uh, meaning ng po mga Asian Highway Markers na inyong nakikita mga kapatid yan po sa tabi-tabi ng kalsada pagka kayo po ay nagtatravel. And that is very important for the development of uh, our country ano, here in Asia. Kaya AH26. Okay? That one yung nasa taas. That is our primary national road. Pagka two, secondary national road. Three, third or tertiary uh, national road ng ating bansa for Asian development uh, purposes. Okay? Ayan. So frequently asked question, why must drivers and pedestrians must obey traffic signs? Okay? Bakit kailangan po yung pong ating mga driver, yung pong ating mga pedestrians, o sabihin na natin lahat ng manlalakbay, ay kailangan sumunod po sa traffic signs, no? or sa mga traffic control devices. Okay, the main reason, no? Uh, why is it that the uh, drivers and pedestrians should obey traffic signs is to prevent damage life and property. Uh, he was aksidente para sa ganun ay uh, hindi po na or ma-prevent po yung pong uh, sinasabi natin na uh, ma-prevent yung pong loss of life and property because of traffic accident. No? That's why we need to follow uh, strictly the traffic laws, rules, and regulations and we should know the different traffic signs para alam natin kung paano sundin. Uh, Unang-una, dapat alam natin kung ano ibig sabihin. Para sa ganun, alam natin kung paano ito susundin. Kasi paano natin susundin kung hindi natin alam. Ha? So traffic congestion and other untoward incident and delays on the roadway were uh, the result of bad driving habits and the disobedience or ignorance of traffic laws, rules, and regulation. So ang usual po na dahilan kung bakit nagkakaroon ng traffic congestion o yung pong mabagal na daloy ng trafiko ay dahil po sa kamalian ng pong ating mga manlalakbay, whether driver or pedestrians. That's why it's very important for uh, the drivers, ano, yung mga driver na andito, na malaman yung pong iba't ibang traffic signs, okay? uh, pavement markings and markers and so on, para sa ganun ay alam nilang sundin yung mga batal sa trafiko. Okay, na kung saan, ito po yung makikita doon po sa mga traffic signs, pavement markings and markers, and so on and so forth. Okay, so I hope that you have learned something from the short video presentation, ladies and gentlemen. At kung meron kang natutunan, huwag kalimutan mag-subscribe. I-click na rin yung bell button for the succeeding videos. Thank you very much for listening and I hope that you have learned something. Thank you very much and God bless you all.